Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Kaka, I'm here every time, every minute to just give you breaking news as it breaks in the Republic of Kenya. Thank you to those who subscribe to my channel. The breaking news from Parliament, the power from State House, the power of Gen Z, the power of the people, as I've been telling you, supersedes the power of the government, the power of the president. There's breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. The Star newspaper has just reported that President William Ruto has declined to sign the Finance Bill 2024. State House sources told the Star that the bill will be sent back to Parliament before they break for recess today. The head of state has also proposed a raft of amendments to the bill which the MPs will have to consider. Parliament may amend the bill in light of the president's reservations or pass it a second time without amending it. In returning the bill, the president will point out key areas that need to be altered. If the MPs amend the bill fully, accommodating the president's reservations, the speaker shall then submit it to the president for assent. If the House considers the president's reservation, it may pass it a second time without amendment or with amendment that do not fully accommodate its reservations. This must have, however, been supported by two-thirds of the members. With the MP set to go on recess beginning today until July 23rd, it means that should, uh, should the president return the document to parliament, the speaker may have to recall them. Some of the tax proposals which had earlier been introduced in the bill include 16% VAT on bread, exercise duty on vegetable oil, VAT on transportation of sugar, 2.5% motor vehicle tax, and eco levy on local manufactured products. They have since been dropped. The bill passed the committee of the whole house after these amendments were made. The committee of the whole house formal allows of the detailed examination of each clause, ensuring through considerations before the bill progresses to subsequent stages of legislative review. Up to that point, Kaka, the power of the people supersedes the power of the government. Yesterday, William Ruto gave a very a misguided press conference that ignited the Gen Z's more. So Zakayo finally ameshuka. Zakayo ameshuka. Zakayo ameshuka. Zakayo ameshuka. Ladies and gentlemen, press on Gen Z. It's not yet over. Ata kama meikata, nisawa. It is not yet over. These politicians must learn a lesson to respect the will of the people. The people have died. The government must take responsibility. The young people have been abducted. The government must take responsibility. As much as William Ruth has, you know, Jana, uh, the Ugandan president. Let me read it for you. It's like Ruto is following an example. Museveni returns, returns budget to parliament. I want to get the exact details. Yesterday, Museveni returned... Um, Museveni returned his budget back to the parliament. Unflinching in his new anti-graft war, President Museveni read the riot act to lawmakers and in no uncertain terms vowed not to sign the appropriation bill 2024 unless parliament Reinstead the 750 billion that was reallocated from the government 
priorities in the 2024 budget. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm saying this because the president has powers to return back the budget. Ambia wabunge ikitu mumeandika hapa. Okay. From the side of Museveni, Museveni alikuwa na protest because kuna pesa walikuwa metoa. But I have brought that example to tell you that the president has powers to save a country from drama. To save a country from chaos. Right now, the bill ilipita. Imefika kwa president William Ruto. Ameituma back to parliament with some amendments. That is allowed constitutionally and the president allowed to do that. That is a gentleman. Ndiyo, wacha arudishe bunge itengenezo. Ni sawa. But, these politicians must learn to respect the rule of law. Awezi kuja kuzungumzia waka. You don't even greet them. You don't even acknowledge the lives that have been lost. You don't even want to apologize. You just come and threaten people. You threaten your children. The people you even don't have a clue how they mobilize themselves. The people you even don't understand how they communicate. You are just threatening air. President William Ruto's address yesterday lacked some integrity. It lacked some wisdom. The statement lacked leadership. We have to tell you the truth. Kama watu wako karibu na wewe, Ruto, hawa keombi ukweli, sisi wacha tukuambia ukweli, wana kuzika. They are burying you alive. Na nilikuonye, kuna, kak, I have been speaking about the boys who advising the president. Kuna watoto who have no beards. Awa watoto hawa, awana ndevu hawa. Awa watoto, ndiyo wana advise the president on what to do. Na hawa watoto, ladies and gentlemen, ni watu ambao, our Jacoma Kisiasa. So, when we advise the president on what to do, ladies and gentlemen, we mean business. And now we're happy that the Gen Z has reached a point where they are able to revolutionize this government and they have reached a point where Kenya cannot be ruled by colonialists. Kenya cannot be ruled by Gunism. Bravo Gen Z's, bravo push on. Nabado, wacha irudi bunge lakini nabado. Bado we shall press on. Lazima kieleweke. Lazima wana, lazima tuandikisha historia. God bless you ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante ni sana.